Okay. Focus. Focus, Elise. We need to get these people their readings. Professional face. <laughs> hey guys, what's up tribe? It's your girl Elise Laveau and I'm back with another daily vibe, daily energy, daily advice video. What is the vibe? Guys, what is the vibe for today? If you are new, welcome. You can stay as long as you want, as long as you're bringing positive energy um, underneath this video. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Um, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you do, are notified uh, with every upload that I make on this channel. And so that you don't miss any uploads. Like, what? What the hell is going on, guys? What is going on? Um, some of you, either pertaining to your relationship, has either found out that somebody was cheating, either someone's breaking up with somebody, someone's having some heartache and pain and just going through some shit with this three of needles. And yes, I am using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck because I just can't get enough of it. It's so freaking cute. Like, so I'm going to use it again. Anyway, this three of needles, guys, is like, you guys have been going through it. What the hell is going on? Either, and I know because we are in retrograde, Mercury is in retrograde. Some of us have been revisiting the past. There's like a blast from the past moment that might be happening right now where it's like um, your ex might pop back in and be like, hey, big head, how you doing? One of those. Or just like... Somebody from way back when that you used to mess with that one time <laughs> um, hit you up and it's like these blasts from the past and it's just like going back through the cycle of the hurt and the pain and the sorrow and just feeling that heartache and just feeling like damn the stabbing is happening yet again and you're like well maybe they've changed maybe it's different but deep down that intuition is like nah sis run homie ain't it you've been there done that and it was whack anyway let me sidebar let me pause real quick have you ever been with someone and the sex was just whack and you knew that it wouldn't work but she was just like, oh, but this person is so sweet, you know, they're nice. But then it was just like, you have no sexual chemistry at all. And it's like, damn. Anyway. Because people who be swearing they the shit in bed and then you left like, what the fuck? watching this girl be like what is ellie on today i am on these boston big beans child anywho this three of needles is saying that you guys are going reliving this heartache that pain um when i pulled up the astro chart for today for new york city because that is where i reside y'all if you didn't know some of y'all thought i live in louisiana do i sound southern do i sound southern no i want to know because i had like like three four clients hit me up and be like oh i thought you lived in louisiana and because apparently they're going through a hurricane right now and they're like how are you managing in the hurricane and i'm like hurricane let, let me put on the news real quick i didn't know you new york city is going through a hurricane and they're like no we thought you lived in louisiana and i'm like no but i would love to that's one of my places i love like um louisiana is like a place that i always wanted to go to um, it is in my chart, so it's one of the places that I am drawn to. But no, I, I live in New York. I love New York. Um, this, is, this is my hood. This is where I'm from. So in the astro chart, I am babbling at this point. I'm going to need y'all to get me together in the comments. It's okay. You can roast me and give you full permission because I am on a thousand today. I wasn't like that this morning, though. Gemini, right? Maybe that's why we get the... the uh, 
the bad rep of having multiple personalities because we can we do have highs and lows um and i am a gemini it is what it is just earlier i was a raging bitch on fire and now i'm super hype okay guys i am back because i had to take a second okay so for the astro chart for today i did see and it's funny that we have the three of needles here but we also have the five of candles which in regular tarot it is the five of wands and the five of wands is that competitive competition you know look look at these they're they're literally fighting can you focus fighting each other this person's choking this one and it's it's kids right it's all kids playing and fighting each other and just having that that child's like competitive nature and when i pulled the astro chart for today it says passions and desires may influence events now unresolved competitive or sexual situations may lead to conflicts and then hear this females may assume more power now impulsive spending tends to increase and meditation efforts could become strained listen with the three of needles here, you guys have this blast from the past, dealing with past emotions, past hurt, past pain, um, past relationships that didn't work out well. Possibly you might be going through a breakdown or a breakup of some sort um, with this three of needles out as well. And then with the five of candles and then with the astro chart confirming, it's just like it's that competitive and it's applying Venus opposite Mars um, if, in case anybody wanted to know. It's unresolved competitive, com, com, um, competitive or sexual situations may lead to conflicts. And it's funny that I mentioned sex um, not too long ago because I'm just like, these blasts from the past where they were it when they weren't and all they brought was the hurt and the pain and the sorrow that nobody wants to, nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with this shit, right? And then yet and still, yet and still, here we are being competitive and trying our best i think with this five of candles give yourself some slack um today don't you don't need to compete with anybody for anything um you don't need to prove yourself you yes work hard for what you want obviously but i don't you don't need to overdo it to make someone else happy today it needs to be about you um today needs to be about you also not sacrificing your needs and your wants for someone else um just putting that out there i'm not sure who that needed to connect to but some of y'all are doing a little bit too much for people who don't deserve it okay um, moving on, we do have the hermit in reverse, and it's funny because this hermit looks type creepy. <laughs> Please, there you go. Um, but he is in reverse. Um, I'm not sure why they use that image for the hermit, but okay. Um, the hermit in reverse is exclusion. Some of you might be feeling lonely because you did go through this hurt and this pain and this breakup. Um, but I will say that even though you might be feeling isolated, feeling alone, feeling lonely, um, don't exclude yourself. Keep going for the things that you want. Work hard at it. I mean, I don't mean you to be out here choking bitches, okay? But I do want you to go for the things that you want. Um, don't be in competition with anybody else but yourself. Be better for yourself, not for anyone else. Does this make sense, y'all? I hope it does because... I'm sensing a lot of you are still holding on to old pain and old hurt um, and you haven't gotten over some shit from the past. And it is okay. Some of us need more time than others. But I, I want you to not feel alone. Um, know that you do have you do have people to back you up. You got me, if that means anything. Um, but you also have a source. So you have God's source, spirit. You have your ancestors. You have your guides to help you along the way. And they are there for you. So you are not technically alone. You're not. Even though you might feel alone, you are not alone. I'm going to pull an oracle card. Why not? Because some of you, I think you guys need it. You guys need to pick me up. I don't want you guys out here choking people, fighting people. Uh, for especially for nobody that don't deserve it don't be out here fighting for nobody's picky head son please um or picky head daughter that don't deserve it um fight for yourself fight for you fight for fight for your right no let me stop fight for just fight for you being happy 
for you waking up in the morning and just being like, yes, today I am not going to live in this three of needles moment, but instead I'm going to put my best foot forward and I'm not going to allow my emotions to um, get the best of me and I'm not going to allow anyone else to get the best of me, but instead I'm going to progress and I'm going to have introspection with myself and connect back with source and be the king and queen that I know I am, period period don't allow yourself to be out here oh y'all got my cards flying everywhere to be out here crying over nobody that don't give a shit about y'all it is okay and it is safe to move on and i just want you guys to know that let me move these big memes out the way it is safe for you to move on and it is safe for you to love again um, I know it's easier said than done, right? Because you don't want to keep getting hurt. You don't want to keep having to go through this competitive nature with other people, especially if you're dealing with a cheater. But I want you to know that it's safe to love again. I want you to love again. I want you to open your heart again. Some of you need to choose a path. Figure out what it is you want, especially with this uh, hermit card out. Even though it is in reverse and it's different than... Um, what it means upright i want you guys even though it is in reverse still have that moment to yourself to figure out what it is you want you got a path to choose with this direction guardian please focus there you go this direction guardian is out for a purpose and a reason figure out what it is you want do what's best for you do what makes you happy do what makes you smile stop focusing on other people stop focusing on what other people want i don't care about nobody else if Elise don't want to do it, Elise ain't doing it. If it's not going to benefit my children, that's a different topic. But when it pertains to my love life, no. Choose your path. Choose you first. Okay. I need you guys to stay grounded and rooted with this Earth Guardian coming out here. Please focus. I think it's my light. Um, I want you guys to stay grounded. Ground yourselves. There's many ways to ground yourself. Um, that will be a whole different video. But stay grounded and rooted in um, yourself, in God, in meditating, in balancing your chakras, in opening your chakras. Because a lot of y'all chakras are closed with this three of needles um, here. A lot of you don't want to let in um, happiness. I don't think a lot of you know how to be happy. Okay, so um, I want you to choose happiness going forward. Especially with this arrow card out, a lot of my private clients know this card very well. I want you to protect yourself with protective energy. Surround yourself with protective energy. Always vibrate on a higher frequency so that you don't allow yourself to be susceptible to the bullshit. We're not here for it. We've done. We've dealt with enough crap 2020. We're not adding another thing to it. Sorry. No. Bye. You can go make your own self miserable. You're not going to come here and make me miserable. And that is what I want you guys to say to yourself when you're dealing with a narcissist, when you're dealing with somebody that just doesn't give a shit about your feelings or cares about you. Surround yourself with protective energy. Just remember that it helps you vibrate on a higher frequency. It helps to sift out the bullshit from other people. And it's, it's just easier to be happier um, when you are vibrating higher. Um, I hope that makes sense, okay? All right, so moving forward, we last but not least, we do have the warrior card. It's one of my faves, this beautiful Polynesian brother here, telling us that, listen, be fearless and stand strong. It is okay to not be okay. I want you guys to know that. And I say that all the time, and I want you to know that I'm being, I'm being real and I'm being raw. It's okay if you're not okay. You don't have to always put up a front, put on a face, and, and make people believe that you're okay. If you're not okay, say you're okay. You're not okay. Learn to communicate, especially because we have these needles out. I want you to learn to communicate and be able to communicate how you feel. Tap into those emotions and don't allow yourself to stay stuck. Um, and it's almost like some of you are feeling like you're smothered by your emotions and by how you feel because you're too scared to speak on how you feel and to say how you 
how what's been going on in your head i want you to know that it is safe be fearless stand strong know that you are a king you are a queen and you deserve the best not only for yourself but for others okay i hope that this message resonated with you in some way shape form or fashion i hope we were able to collect it at the end because your sis was a whole hot mess in the beginning but thank you for if you stayed through all that mess i love you dearly thank you for um rocking out with me you guys i love you guys so much i hope that um an, on a day like today you're not going to focus too much on that three of needles on this heartache and this pain from what you're going through and from the past but you're going to allow yourself to open up be fearless and stand strong and know that you deserve the world okay i hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'm not sure what time this will go up because i do have so, a lot of um readings to pull through for you guys some of you i'm pretty sure will be watching this waiting so um i will see you and talk to you guys soon but please if you are not subscribed please do so um by hitting that subscribe button and also hitting the notification bell and share this video you never know who might need to hear this message Thank you guys for helping us reach 300 subscribers. I'm so thankful. If you're not following me on Instagram, um, do so because I posted a giveaway on Instagram for reaching 300 subscribers on uh, YouTube. So I'm super stoked about that. Thank you so, so much. Let's grow together. Let's love together. And I am sending you guys love and light and a little bit of darkness because we need that balance, boo. I'll see you in your next daily vibe. Bye. <laughs>